Judge Judy tackles new cases, alongside granddaughter in Judy Justice series, see first look. Hey guys, welcome to the Judge Judy's News. Hope you all are pretty good, so let's get into it. Judge Judy Scheindlin is heading back to the bench for her all-new courtroom series, Judy Justice. In a new first look trailer, Judy opens up about what fans can expect from her new show. Judy Justice is a really exciting new adventure that gives me an opportunity to come into streaming while producing a whole different kind of courtroom show, the 78-year-old says. I've been sort of alone for the last 25 years. Now, I have a new team. The upcoming original series for MBTV, which is Amazon's free premium streaming service, will see Judy explore an array of cases alongside her courtroom staff. Bailiff Kevin Rasco, court stenographer Whitney Kumar and law clerk Sarah Rose, who is also her granddaughter. Judge Judy returns to court this fall in new series Judy Justice. Court is back in session. Teasing her involvement in the show, Sarah notes that a law clerk does whatever the judge asks them to do. Judy says her granddaughter is wired, just like she is. She's a little snarky. I like that, the former prosecutor adds. Raving about the other new additions to her team, Judy says Whitney is a fabulous stenographer and Kevin is one of the warmest people. To have them help me create this new show is really giving me a third act or a fourth act, she says of her new teammates. We are upping the game. Giving viewers a taste of what's to come, the clip also showcases Judy tackling a few cases. As with her previous Judge Judy series, she is not playing any games. Never miss a story. Sign up for People's free daily newsletter to stay up to date on the best of what POPLE has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest stories. You talk, I finish. That's the rule. She says at one point, while she tells another person, try to begin with the truth. That's always the easiest thing to begin with. As someone tries to advise Judy of what to do, she counters, no, I don't have to keep anything in mind. You just have to keep in mind answering my questions. Judy previously starred in the long-running series Judge Judy. The syndicated program ended in July after 25 seasons. Opening up about her new series to The Hollywood Reporter in May, Judy said, Give me a robe and a case, and I'll do my job. I had wonderful people producing and directing the Judge Judy program, and a couple of them will be following me to Amazon, she continued. That will keep my life on a steady keel. Judy Justice premieres November 1 on IMD TV. New episodes will arrive every weekday. One of television's most recognizable jurists has donated $5 million to her law school alma mater, establishing a scholarship program for female students. Judy Scheindlin, known to millions as Judge Judy, after starring for 25 years on her namesake show, made the gift to New York Law School. The Judge Judy Scheindlin Honors Scholars Program will begin this fall and eventually support 10 female students annually, the Manhattan School said this week. Recipients will receive full-ride scholarships to New York Law School, which currently lists JD tuition and fees of nearly $58,000 a year on its website. They will also get help paying for books and complete a summer fellowship following their first year of law school. Scheindlin graduated from New York Law School in 1965 and went on to serve as a family court judge before breaking into television. Her daughter, Nicole Scheindlin, is also an alumna and her granddaughter, Sarah Rose, is slated to graduate in May. On Monday, Judge Judy Scheindlin announced on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that the upcoming season of Judge Judy will be her last. The show will have run for 25 years by the time it concludes. She probably won't ever leave your TV screen, though. CBS bought her entire series catalog for $100 million in 2017, and her reruns may very well run in perpetuity. She also has plans for a new television show, Juby Justice. Once Judge Judy wraps, those specific details about the upcoming project have yet to be revealed. Scheindlin is famously one of the highest paid women in daytime television. She pulled in $47 million every year for just 52 days of filming. Forbes estimated her net worth to be $440 million in June 2019, naming her one of the richest self-made women in America. She lives primarily in Naples, Florida, with her husband and spends her fortune on real estate and memberships at the Ritz-Carlton, according to the New York Times. A representative for Scheindlin didn't immediately respond to a request for comment on her net worth or personal life from Business Insider. Keep reading for a look inside Judge Judy's life. Petrie Hawkins' bird would have loved to serve as bailiff on Judy Scheindlin's new show, Judy Justice. 
but he says she never asked. In an exclusive interview with Entertainment Weekly, the longtime bailiff on Judge Judy said he was left out of discussions regarding Scheindlin's new show on MDB TV, which debuts November 1. Like all Judge Judy fans, Bird found out that Scheindlin was going to do a new courtroom program when she announced it during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show in March of 2020. But he never talked with his boss about the new show while they completed the 25th and final season of Judge Judy. Because of the pandemic, Shane Lynn taped remotely in New York while Bird worked in L.A. with the rest of the crew. My assumption is if you were going on to do something else, that you were at least going to ask me if I wanted to have the opportunity to audition for the role, Bird tells E. Della. After production wrapped in April of this year, Bird turned his focus to his wife, Makita Bond Bird, a longtime Judge Judy producer who was scheduled for brain surgery. I didn't have time to think about or ask about Judy Justice, says Bird whose wife just completed her third round of chemotherapy. Doctors successfully removed 95% of her tumor. It wasn't until July that I called the judge and asked, hey, should I look for something else or am I included in the Judy Justice Project? She informed me I was not being asked to come along on the project, continued Bird, who had served as Scheindlin's bailiff since Judge Judy's premiere in 1996. I didn't inquire as to why, that's her choice. But she did inform me that fundamentally, I was priced out as the new bailiff on her new show. My salary would have been too much. I was curious. How would she know? She didn't ask me. She didn't give me an opportunity to have accepted a lower salary. Fans learned that Bird had been replaced when IMDb recently released a trailer for Judy Justice. Her new bailiff is Kevin Roscoe, who Bird says provided personal security for Scheindlin while on Judge Judy. Scheindlin, through a spokesperson, released this statement Friday. Bird is terrific and we had a great 25-year run. This is a whole new program with a whole new cast and an exciting energy. Looking back on his chat with Scheinlin in July, Bird thinks she assumed he called because they didn't have a proper send-off after 25 years on Judge Judy. Ironically, he says his wife was asked to participate on Judy Justice, but her health issues made it impossible. The call with Judy ended pleasantly enough, he says. I don't think she understood how confused and dismayed I was after being there for 25 years from the beginning of her career, and not being at least given the opportunity to say whether or not I wanted to continue that relationship. Bird is particularly humbled by the reaction of fans who expressed shock at his absence in the Judy Justice trailer. He's now on the hunt for new opportunities, like the guest spot he just had on The Bold and The Beautiful. He's been doing voiceover work too. I might have I did something wrong or offended you or brought shame to the show, or if was involved in numerous scandals in the 25 years we were together. I might understand why you didn't want to bother in the end, says Bird. That's just the way it went. I just know that God has something else for me.